today, I choose to spend the, the rest of my life with you. And I will choose you every single day after. There's no one else in the world I want to continue building a life with. And I know we can do anything together. You make every day better and you make me better. I promise to spend each day working to give you and the boys my absolute best for the rest of my life. I promise to be your partner every step of the way. I promise to value our differences just as much as their similarities. I promise to be honest, faithful, and a loving husband every day. I promise to love you unconditionally and be by your side no matter what life throws at us. Although time has passed and our lives have changed so much since we first met, two kids, two new jobs, a cross country move, I still fall in love with you each and every day. Sometimes I just watch the smallest things you do and think to myself that I Then I'm the luckiest man alive. So you need to finish that because you're going to make it. You're okay. All I see I'll is take the, the. And then we're going to put it away. See if you can guess which which one goes on which foot. Okay? Which one goes on which foot? <laughs> that one goes on which one? <laughs> you got it. Yeah. From the minute I met you, I knew you were someone special. I wondered how in the world this guy was still single <laughs> and about all those idiot girls out there. You are the most sweet and dependable, smart, loyal, and handsome man I have ever known. And over the last five years, we have built this beautiful life together. It hasn't always been easy, but we make a great team. You are the best friend that I celebrate life's triumphs with and my rock when weathering life's storms. And throughout the highs and the lows, you always know how to make me smile and take things a little less seriously. Seeing the dad that you have become has only made my love for you grow deeper. Like me, you hold our boys when they cry, you take care of them when they are sick, you celebrate with them when they are happy, and you laugh with them when they want to be silly. Thank you for always being that safe space where I can be myself and that home base that I can come back to when I've been a little beat up by the world, myself, or as is often the case, our kids. <laughs> Today, I get to marry my best friend, my number one supporter, the love of my life, and the one I want to go to bed every night saying, I love you too. And as we take this next step, I promise to never forget how truly special you are and how lucky I am to have found you. I promise to strive to be a great mom and to work to keep our marriage strong and focused on the two of us. I promise to try to be at least half the partner you are to me. And I, tr I promise to be there in the tough times and to celebrate life's joys with you. I promise to always love you on your good days and your bad, at your best and at your worst, to love all of you for you as you are, perfectly as you are. Adam and Allison, it is my privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss your bride.
I tried to think of something that would um, show her character, and I came up with a time when she was at Cal Poly and ran for president. Um, she put her heart and soul into the campaign, and she lost. But the next year, she went back, put her heart and soul into that campaign again, and she won. <laughs> So um, <laughs> she knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go for it. Of course, I don't know Adam as well as I know her, but he's a great partner and a great father. And also, I feel very comfortable with Adam. Um, I, actually, it may sound simple, but I've been very lucky and have been being very comfortable with both my sons-in-law. We can sit and not talk and be totally content. <laughs> Aiden and Ethan were <laughs> made the family complete and are loved by so many people. So from all of us who are here present and from all of those who could not be here, to Allison, Aiden, Ethan, and Adam, we love you and wish you only the best. Allison. Allison's my oldest, my firstborn, my little baby girl with the biggest heart and the most forceful way of using it. <laughs> Adam, you're a good man and a good spouse and a good father. Don't ever change. Yeah, no, seriously, don't change. <laughs> Maybe to pick a different football team. <laughs> but you've got Allison to root for sports, so I, I got to hand you that. <clears throat> I want to I wanna, uh, wish you joy and peace, and may the good Lord wrap his arms around, of love around you and your family and protect you and keep you and give you a house full of love and joy. And may your children and your children's children rise up and call you blessed. Amen. Adam Michael. My firstborn son. I love you so much. On your wedding day, I'm overcome with so many happy emotions, love, gratitude, excitement, and joy. You could not have found a better bride. To spend the rest of your days with. Allison, thank you for making my son so happy. I'm more grateful than I could ever find the words to say. I might be a little biased, <clears throat> but I think I'm not the only one that says Adam is a person who is kind and generous, and he has a heart of gold. He is a beautiful individual inside and out, and I am so blessed to be your mother. <laughs> you are an amazing father to Aiden and Ethan, and I love watching him when Allison sends me videos. It just, oh. Our family was very small, just Adam and I, and Jason and Nikki. And now we've added Allison and all of her family, and we love you guys too. I'm very excited for what the future is going to bring. My prayer is that no matter what happens, don't ever ever give up. Don't give up. You got this. I wish you nothing but happiness and success and continue to be there for each other and for those precious little boys. 
And I love you both.